Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thanks for tuning in. We're saving the world one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to look at the 2020 Montana 3760 FL. This is from the second half of 2020, so it has some updates that the earlier half did not have, so pay attention to those. And like always, guys, when you're looking at our videos, the options and the colors, they can change VIN to VIN. So always refer to your build sheet or talk to your salesperson to make sure you're getting what you want. Awesome. This is an awesome trailer. It's a front living room, rear bedroom. It's got a ridiculous amount of storage. We're going to get into it as best we can. Obviously, we can't hit on everything in a 10-minute video, but we will do the best we can. We have eyebrow lights built right in. So that's a nice touch. We have a windshield up at the top there. All right, we're gonna see that better from the inside. And then we have a Rotoflex pin box. They call this a road armor, but that's like the old style Rotoflex pin box. This rotates front to back like this. It takes, it takes away some of the chucking for you nice and easy. We have a rougher style storage here in the front. So, you know, maybe for like putting like a portable generator, uh, solar panels, those kind of rougher items. And then here is where your battery is gonna go. You can see there's a box already there for one battery. Lazy Acres provides that, but there's also space there to add a secondary one if you want. And then we have a front light here making it easier to hook up at nighttime. This model has hydraulic, uh, hydraulic auto leveling, which is controlled from in here. So basically you, you take the truck off the trailer, pull it out of the way, come around here, push auto level, and it goes like a spaceship. Nice and cool. 30 pound per paint tanks, one on each side. And then we have a pass-through storage here. This is the smaller of the two storages, um, but you can see we still have good height, about two feet wide. You can put larger items in there for sure. And then this is our docking station here. So uh, we'll just go through it. We have low point drains, outside shower hose, uh, black tank flush, city water connection, um, winterizing, uh, you know, filling your fresh water. You can do all that from in here. This is your, actually your outside shower. We have cable and satellite in. We have a battery disconnect and we have a light in here. And the key is this compartment is warm. It's heated off the furnace, uh, keeping those connections nice and warm on the trailer itself. We have a furnace vent. And this is the little vent for the, uh, uh, the fresh water fill. And then we have our fridge vent, fridge vent. Nice little scare light up there. I just kind of noticed that just now. Range hood vent, frameless windows here. It's got an upgraded gel coat. I can pretty much see myself in this fiberglass. We have 16 inch tires, nitro fill, eight bolt rims. Uh, it's got the more ride suspension. That's the 3000 more ride. Uh, check that, That's, that was 2019 they did that. This is the road armor suspension now. It's by Trail Air, uh, Lipper comp Company. There's a some storage here. This one's unfortunately locked, but we'll be able to see that from the inside. Um, this little spot right here is just a uh, spot to drain your uh, your gray and your black. So that's all enclosed and heated off the trailer as well, off the furnace, I mean. It's a 50 amp trailer. It's a 12 gallon gas electric water heater. Um, you can see here what I'm getting at when I'm talking about all the storage. There's a little bonus storage here. All aluminum frame, even for their minor construction. Slam last door. Okay. And then we have our back trunk right here. But look how far that goes in. That goes in like 12 to 15 feet. Uh, you can see on me by all the framing, this is all heated. Um, some more stores down this side. Yeah, just an awesome, awesome outside storage location and spot. Uh, rear ladder, you gotta be getting up on your roof, checking your seals every three months. We got a backup camera prep up there. We have multiple awnings on this model. So the first awning starts right here goes to about here okay got led lights built in outside speakers our secondary awning starts here goes around the main slide and then just ends right about here so we're talking like 30 feet of awning which is which is killer um we have a nice big entry door we got those more ride steps that just fold up and inside the trailer these are pulley assisted so they're really easy to do all right i'm doing this with you know one or two fingers nice and easy there we have a handle here that comes out a little bit further than normal to make that easier because this is a four step. And then we have the other side of this outside storage we saw over there. All right, excellent. Well, that was a brief breakdown of what's on the outside. Let's have a look inside. Hey guys, we're inside that 2020 Montana 3760 FL. One thing I missed when I was doing the outside is the weight of this model. It comes in right around 14.4 uh, with these options that you see on this trailer that can obviously change depending on what options are on it. Right now, you're in the back corner of the bedroom, okay? So we have a king bed in this model. 
a bunch of windows here around the bed, which is always nice. We have our storage here, uh, you know, for our, our laundry. We have a lot of hanging storage up here, shelving up there. I'm just gonna pull it aside here so you can see what's going on on this side. Okay, that's our laundry. Continues the hanging and the shelf there above. Uh, to this side, we have a nice little bonus window here in the bedroom. These have those nice pull down blackout shades. We have our TV in the bedroom. This is on an arm, so you can always move that, but that makes more sense so you're facing your, your, your bed there. We have a receptacle here. We have six drawers built in for our dresser. Nice big handles. Three more cupboards right here. Nice raised panel doors. Of course, it's a Montana. It's all real wood. Okay. Now we're going to spin, have a look at our main bedroom. Notice, or bathroom. Notice the separated the closet door. Right into our fiberglass garden tub style shower. I can sit down here, shave my legs nice and easy. Got a skylight here. Upgraded shower head. Um, obviously, lots of elbow space. Comes across with a glass shower divider, divider there. Nice seamless countertops, his and her sink that are undermounted, stainless. Just really, really good looking. More storage below there. Storage again, storage again. Two big medicine cabins for all your medicine. Uh, we have a fantastic fan here above us. We have storage here beside there. And then four more drawers, goodness gracious. I love this window here. That's just a nice touch into the washroom and a porcelain toilet down below. Awesome. Now, so this is the very back of the trailer. We're heading forward here through the bedroom, down the hall into the sunken kitchen slash dinette area. One thing that the Montana's done is they've gotten rid of carpet. So to bridge the gap between the slides and the main floor of the trailer, they have this like matte kind of material. Um, you know, this is gonna be a lot easier to clean, a lot easier to vacuum. It's not gonna stain, not gonna wear down with traffic in and out of the dinette. Um, that's just a new thing they did for the second half of 2020. Big fan of that. Then we have two chairs right here. Um, they, you know, just really elegant looking, really nice looking chairs. Windows here, door side of the trailer. I keep talking about that. And then a pop-up receptacle here. Nice and easy there. All right, swivel around to the kitchen area. Um, just while we're here, we have all our switches, our awnings, our slides are all done from in here. This is a fake cabinet, okay? Into our hutch, all right? Lots of counter space, good spot to plug in um, uh, like appliances, those kind of things. It's got LED rope lighting underneath. Good storage right there. Storage, storage. There's a little light here I should have had on, but you get the idea. We have an 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge. Not an electric fridge, gas electric, 18 cubic feet. Look at all that, that fridge space there. The freezer's not separate. I don't know if you noticed, but you're standing by the main door right now. When you come in, you're gonna be able to get to this fridge on the side of the road without opening up the slides. Look at that storage up there. Awesome. More storage here. Again, I love these big grab handles. All right, more storage. We got a convection microwave, all right. I don't know how to cook, but I'm sure people can cook with that. Storage here above, another pop-up receptacle. Okay, nice window here in the kitchen, bringing in some natural light, three burner stove. It's got that new Furion oven. Uh, what's key about this oven is yes, it's wider, yes, it's good looking, but you don't have to get on your hands and need to light it anymore. You just kick it on, bingo bango. We have a nice little drawer here, and then four more drawers on this side. Just a ridiculous amount of storage. Right, but we are talking about a really big trailer. Awesome. Some more solid surface countertops, uh, undermount sink. Notice they have a small sink and a big sink. A lot of times when they do this undermount sink, it's just two of these smaller ones, but you can easily get your pots and pans in this big sink. Pull down faucet, of course. Spot here for a garbage can built right in. Covers down below, okay, and that's actually where you store your your uh, solid surface countertop uh, sink covers down there. Awesome. Now 
this is a little bit of a surprise. <clears throat> a secondary bathroom. So we have our, you know, still we have a porcelain toilet. We still have that uh, seamless countertop. Storage down below. Nice mirror here. Uh, more cover storage above there. Fantastic fan above us, taking out that, those nasty smells. What's key though, is that this is off the main living, right? So you don't have to walk through the washroom, sorry, walk through your bedroom to get to the main washroom. Your guests can just use a secondary one. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to forget about this. More pantry space right through here, right? Look at this. More again. More again. Awesome. I'm out of breath from talking so much, guys. Sorry. Awesome. Let's spin around. Look at the living space. Now we're lifting up here. Okay, lots of head headroom still around here. We have uh, our front windshield with the TV in front of it. If you want, you can just put that down. Nice and easy, that's electrically, electrical of course. I don't know, I love the idea of just being up here. You have like a bird's eye view over everybody. Nice windshield right there. There is a blind that comes down, um, but that, that's a really nice feature I think. All the stores down the side here, all the stores there. We have our uh, radio DVD player down there, spot for a satellite receiver, built-in speakers, more storage here, more storage there. I love this trailer. Receptacles on either side of that windshield. Turn it around, you can see we have a tri-fold sofa on this side, tri-fold sofa on the other side, theater se seats built in. Um, these are strapped down. I, I don't understand why. I think they do just are uh, screwed into the floor. But uh, anyways, they are power recliners, massage, heat, all the good stuff. Nice little cup holders. Spot to store your, your remotes. I hate looking for remotes. Awesome, guys. I think that's it. I know we didn't hit everything, but that's a lot of trailer in a 10-minute video. If you like that trailer, you like that video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. We have lots of fifth wheels, new and used. Lots of travel trailers, lots of toy haulers. Uh, please check us out. Our email is sales at lazyacres.com or our phone number is 705-833-2539. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.